When people think of what makes Ron Darling great, they'll mention his World Series victory with the New York Mets, or that he was an all-star pitcher. They'll bring up his 136 wins, his gold gloves. But what made Ron Darling truly great was his perm. I was Ron's hairstylist for six years in the 80s. I did hair for Cameo, Freddie Mercury, Dee Snyder. I mean, lots of players had perms in the 80s, but none of them had the brilliance or the shine quite like Ron's. It was like obsidian. His hair was filled with so much product, it added 20 pounds to his playing weight. I mean, there were rumors that Ron's hair was artificially enhanced, like maybe he was using some shoe polish or maybe some horse hair or dyed merino wool. But I mean, how can you prove that? They don't test for horse hair. With his new haircut, Ron Darling dominated in style magazines and on the mound. But the summer of 86 couldn't last forever. One day he said to me, Kimberly, I need more curls. I said, Ron, I can't possibly give you any more curls. He went white in the eyes, he threw down shampoo bottles, he smashed a hair dryer. It was terrifying. As fast as he grew that mullet, it was even faster to go. When he lost his mullet, he lost his mojo. Most fellas carry in their wallet pictures of their wives, their kids. Not Ron Darling, no sir. He carries with him his 1986 baseball card. On the back of that very card, Ron Darling added a new statistic. Hair victories, hair victories. But look at the bright side. He's got more of those than anybody in baseball history. In the end, yeah, he could have been using shoe polish. Today, Ron Darling's hair sits in a glass box in Cooperstown, but memories of his perm will continue to live on in our hearts.